It is uh, 5.30, Wednesday, August 29th, 2018, and I'm here with a young man named Jackson who's going into his sophomore year at college mm -hmm. and who is a successful um, patient of a maxillary mandibular advancement surgery at the age of 14. Yes, around that, around that age, yeah. Sophomore year. So, as best you can remember, Jackson, when mm -hmm. when do you remember sleep being a an issue in your life? It's definitely my sophomore year of high school. Right. Um, that's really when I started suffering from just like being exhausted. I think I remember math class being the worst, just because like I would the worst, just because I would fall asleep. And was there anything earlier that you were diagnosed with younger in life? Um, nothing when I was younger. But around that same time, I started, um, well, my brother, my younger brother got diagnosed with ADHD. Mm -hmm. And so I also started thinking, like, I wonder if also this focus is coming from, like, do I have ADHD? Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily hyper. Do I have ADD? Right. So we also started trying uh, medication mm -hmm. for that. At what age do you remember you started that? Sophomore year. So, sophomore year. Yeah. 14, so most of your big 14, issues 15. was your sophomore year. Yeah. That's when everything started kind of so, unraveling. So it's. So it all unraveled at that age. But thinking back when you were younger, mm -hmm. you remember having a lot of extra teeth. And when did you start coming to Dr. Quo? Doct I started seeing uh, orthodontist Dr. Quo, uh -huh. um, fourth grade or fifth grade. So it was like six or seven, I think. So you felt good on CPAP, but yeah. what was going around in your head at 14 years old? Like, I'm going to use this machine the rest of my life? Basically, yeah. I feel like that's what goes through most people's head. Like, it definitely goes through my siblings' heads, like my sister, my brother. Um, but, yeah, at that point, though, I was still, like, kind of, um, I don't know. I, I was young and, like, pretty fairly young, so I was still in that phase where I didn't want to, like, have to take stuff with me like to, when i go to college i didn't want to use a cpap machine because i felt like it's uh, not cool all that sort of thing uh, can you tell us a little bit about your surgery and what it was like to go through it and... yeah so um my it was like my sophomore year uh the idea of the surgery was brought forth and i was like i guess i'm gonna go with this instead of having to wear the machine throughout college i have to bother my roommate in college and deal with the hassle so that's when i first started getting like prepared for it mm -hmm. um, so braces were put on specifically designed to like move my mouth mm -hmm. around yeah, so after the surgery i would it would be in an okay position and then uh, the summer of my junior year is when this actual operation took place <clears throat> do you want me to like go into detail about yeah, that yeah. um it was fairly easy in my opinion i just laid there and stayed unconscious but coming out it was definitely like I always think surgery is cool because it's like kind of time traveled a little bit. Uh, you wake up, you're in a different place. It's like, oh, this is cool. It wasn't the worst recovery I've ever had. The worst part was not being able to eat solid food. I remember there were a couple afternoons where I would just lie on the couch, my face swollen. Like you're in a, you're in like, you have an ice pack, neck, necklace, headband around you. Mm -hmm. Just like puffed up and like watching Food Network. Yeah. And we're and, looking at, when it, when, before you had your surgery, how long were you sleeping? How many hours? That's tough. I'm not sure how many hours I was actually like getting good quality sleep. Could you get out of bed in the morning? It was always rough. Always, I remember yeah, early on. It was always like uh, it was. It wasn't just the uh, I don't want to get out of bed like it is now. Right. It was like like if I close my eyes again, I would just go right back to sleep. It was that bad. So as far as your temperament, your irritability. Oh, that's it's completely different. Completely different like, post surgery, yeah. even with young little siblings that, yeah. that get on your nerves. Yeah. That one's hard. That one's really hard. Well, the young siblings get on everybody's nerves, but, but your fuse even, was a lot shorter. Even before, like, the whole sleep apnea thing, I was always very irritable. My second younger, well, my first younger brother, um, who's only 15, no, 17, mm -hmm. he would always provoke me, like, consistently. Mm -hmm. And I would always react badly, get in trouble. Um, and But as I, like, after the surgery and as I grew older, I sort of just kind of brushed it off. Right. Um, yeah, and I didn't, I didn't really think about that too much. I thought it was just like a maturity thing.